Hey everyone! Welcome back. I am back today with more of The Legend of Vox Machina, you guys. Last time was really good. We had a lot of plot points going on last time that were all really top-notch. Um, I'm, I'm excited to get into the next one. Um, I'll just kind of briefly recap, you know, what went on last time because it's been like five minutes for me, so I'm not going to have like a whole lot new to add to it. Um, but yeah, I'll keep it brief. Before I do that, I do just want to say if you're joining me early today, you know just what that means. That means that you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much. And as always, I'm sending up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in that description down below. If you're joining me on those YouTubes, I hope you'll hit like and subscribe for me because that really helps my channel out and it helps me out. So thank you in advance for that. Um, all right, guys. Great episode last time. We had Keyleth finally. Um... I feel like taking a big step towards, I mean, she's had some big steps in the past. She's really, when, when we need her, like she, she can rise to the occasion. Um, but for her, I know that she had all this kind of like conflict and doubt about this whole like Armente process. And we got to see a little bit of her backstory here with what went on with her mom. And um, similarly, we got to meet her dad. We even got her dad's seal of approval on that. And like, oh, even dad approves over here. These two have got to make it happen. I really, maybe they're just like saving it for the, for the last, I don't know, adventure or whatever. Um, so yeah, um, she, she, she owned it. She just like, she went in and she, she was the fire. She quite literally was the fire. Um, so we saved the day. Um, we helped the, uh, what do they call Pyra? which is like her people, but the ones who guard the fire stuff. Um, we found out about Thordak and how he was taken down originally. Um, we know that somebody must be helping him. Like somebody helped him to get out and like, who is that? And what is their angle? We know that uh, Ripley appears to be like making some kind of deal. Um, that's kind of how it looks. I don't know if that's exactly where they're going with it, but I'm guessing yes um so we have grog the whole sword thing is but it's, it's freaking me out and then it looked like grog's people at the end there that we were dealing with that thordak was like pushing around um but uh yeah so I don't know, you guys. I don't know where this is all headed, but they definitely dropped some big plot points in, uh, in that last one. Plus, we still have Vax dealing with all of the 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 Raven stuff, which I know is going to come back in a big way. We have the favor between Vax and, and Scanlan, which I'm scared about. Um, but we got, the we got the broom in action. The bro I knew the broom was going to come back at some point. I knew that was going to come back into play. We made a big deal of getting the broom. So, um, yeah, guys, I'm excited. I'm scared. I'm a little bit of all of the above. Without further ado, what do you say we go ahead and we just jump right into this next episode of Legend of Vox Machina. Let's do this. Oh. Oh, are we doing like, what are we, wait, what? Is this really happening? Ooh! No way, this is not really happening. No way. You made the herd proud. Whoa, that was a dream. I figure as much. I'm like, what do we just stop off for like some kind of arena fight or something? Let that dream serve as a warning. He's like, get it away from her. <gasps> Get rid of the sword. Ditch the sword. Get rid of the sword. Nothing to eat right now. Oh, God. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, uh, you can't fault a guy for a player with his sword now and then. Yes. Mm, that's, that's, it's his way. That's how he deals with things. Humor. 
Hard to get used to a relic of the goddess of death. Still, you know, you, maybe you can ask her for help. Somehow I doubt she'd listen. You could try. Yeah, I want her to try. Mm hmm. Hmm. Glad to see these two still being close. Okay. Yeah, let's not do that again. Oh, please oh. take it. Oh, oh my gosh. He's like, yeah, <laughs> I'm a little cold. Here. Oh. fixated on. Okay, just a sec, bud. Come here. Oh, what are you? Don't you worry, Scadlin. Uncle Grog is going to keep you warm. Uh, did we just make a. Oh, he's into it. He's into it. He likes it. He's like, oh, he's a. Huh? Ancient. The monolith? Oh, is it? Oh, there's so. Okay, there's something between the. Got it. Okay. Mm hmm. Temple. Whoa, wow, that. How do you know all this? Because of the goddess. Yeah. You can feel it. Oh! Oh, yeah, we are not watching Vex get killed again. Whoa. It's been centuries. Right. Whoa. Conquer the 70 death gorgons. Survive the endless labyrinth of misery. Oh, that sounds unpleasant. Sorry, back up. Did you say wound you? In my eons of life, I have never felt pain. Oh. Your challenge. I mean, I feel like that sounds like the easiest one, but is it really? So cool as fuck. Very well, then. This isn't going to be as easy as it sounds. Like I'm telling you right now. Each of Where? You will have a chance to wound me in a one-on-one -on -one battle. Oh. Oh, uh, how about Vex? Really, dude? Oh, wow. Uh, didn't have to I put her on the spot there. Oh, yeah. Hmm. But with the, with the Raven armor, though, maybe? Maybe. Oh, he's back. Anyway, so no one can hear my sword. Bad sword. That's what I was. I was afraid that it was. Oh, I was taking his blood. Ew, gross. Uh, icky. I would chuck that sword. A heavy burden. No kidding. No kidding. You live long enough to feel its weight. Oh. Wow. He will fall in the void forever. Unless one of you can succeed. Oh. family left who actually cares for you. Oh, don't. Don't start with the getting in and that's. Because that's what was said to him. Uh, hang on. There's to, he's he's thwarting all our, but he's thwarting all of our head-on attacks. Oh come on, Pike! Oh no! So it's up to Scanlan now. Maybe he'll forget about me. Yeah, no way. He says, hanging on. He's hanging on. It's up to you now, Scanlan. Before you vanquish me, oh mighty Sphinx, allow me a moment of utter sincerity. Must be super sincere. Let's play a nice little tune. Let's play a nice little tune. Oh, he has such pretty voice. Oh, you're playing a pretty song. We're doing a duet? Just 
No way! Is this the mate? Yes! Oh, it's beautiful. Also, great idea. And they can't meet. Didn't, isn't that what... If they're mates, I'm pretty sure that's what they says. If he sees her, then... Even like a, like a, like a... Oh, you have wounded his heart! You've wounded his heart! I feel pain, but you have wounded my heart. Good job! Good job! Yeah. Guys, gals, he knows a lot of loving. Actually, do you know like true love though? Like, oh. Just let it happen. Just let it happen. It'll. It's. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh! I love everything about this. Ooh. Scanlan is beautiful, love balance. He's <laughs> just like laying down, wagging his tail. <laughs> what? What did he call? <laughs> In unison. Whoa. Oh. But he's gonna help you out, maybe. Oh! Cammy, thank you for the lovely gift. It's in a tree, it's a... Whoa, well, well, you know who that's going to. It's like a bean if it's not a pop. It's not a puzzle. Come on, Kiki. You can do it. We believe in you. Oh. Yup. That's where we were at the end of Oh, it's like the Infinity Gauntlet. Crap, what? Oh, right, yeah. The the whole dragon Ripley thing. Gotcha. Aren't you supposed to be extinct? Not yet, Defiler. Oh, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. You just went after a very powerful being. That's French. That's French. Oh, no, no, the acid. Oh. Is the Sphinx okay? Oh, he's like, I could really use some dragon blood. That's a whole lot of blood. Wow, that thing's not even going to know what to do with dragon blood, though. I mean, that's going to, like, I don't know what that's going to do to that sword. Ew. No. Don't hurt the Sphinx. <gasps> no. Cammy. Oh, Cammy doesn't. Cammy's not going very fast. Yeah. Don't you dare take off with my friend. Oh, he got wounded. I can't believe it. Oh. No. <gasps> oh. Oh, I'm so glad we made friends with Sphinx. Scanlan. Oh, Cammy, are you okay? Cammy's not going to make it. Oh, was it? Were they mates? Oh, Cammy, no! Blood. Yeah, for for a lot of blood. Probably dragon blood would be a super, super big charge. <sighs> God's just going in. He's just going in. Like, this is a gosh darn dragon he's just going after. Like, <laughs> like it's a... Like, he's hunting it. That's how... That's how bad it's gotten with the sword. Oh, okay. That's how you know. 
Snap out of it. Snap out of it. Oh! Oh! No freaking way. Can she heal herself? There is no freaking way. There is no freaking way. She's she's got to be okay. Ah! Ah! Oh, no! 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 Wait! No! Ah! Did we not take them with us? Were they falling outside of the spell? Did we not get them? Did we not get them? We didn't get them. Where are they? No! This can't be happening. Yeah, he was holding them up. I don't know. Is this the place where is this place where Scanlan saw? I don't know. Please don't be the end of the episode, please. Oh! Guys. Ah. Uh, uh, I knew I knew things were going to come to a head with the sword thing, but man, I did not see that coming that they would come to a head in such a just really inopportune moment. And then to think that like they were getting away. <laughs> oh, and they got left behind. Because my my thought there was like, can't Keyleth do some amount of healing as well? Didn't we like establish that or my I... I don't remember. But I'm like, well at least maybe if Keyleth is here, we might have a shot. And now they're separated. And now all the fears come true. The bad dreams, the sword wanted blood, and it got it. It was not going to take no for an answer. If there was somebody with blood in front of it, it was going for it. Um, Man, but the way that Grog was just going in on that dragon, like, this is a freaking dragon that we're talking about. And the way he was just like, like, really like a man possessed, which, you know, is not that far off. Um, oh, the Sphinx. So was that the mate? Because that's the first thing I thought was, is this Osisa's mate that they were talking about? That, like, they can't be around. And he got to see her one last time through that beautiful song. Guys, tell me the song is on iTunes. I need it. I want it. Tell me it's on iTunes. Tell me it's somewhere. I'm sure it's on YouTube. Um, I want it on my playlist such a beautiful song. I'll tell you, Scanlan's voice actor could, like, easily be, like, like, big time pop singer, whatever, whatever genre he wanted to. Country, rock, whatever. It could really super easily do it. Like, if he's not already doing something with music, or if he's not just, like, busy with voice acting. Beautiful voice. Like, that was a gorgeous song. It was a really nice moment. And he, ah, oh, I like that, like, instead of trying to wound him, he just, like, serenaded him. And that just, like, it wounded him in a way, but, like, they ended up being friends. Oh, I feel so bad that the Sphinx died. All that time we were trying to figure out how to wound the, dra the, the Sphinx. Who knew that a dragon would just come in, burst in? Should have known because we just had that whole thing that, like, oh, yeah, Ripley's going to sell you out. Um, which sucks. And I hope that what, I hope that they heard, I hope that they heard, sorry, my hair is in my face now because of my fan. I hope they overheard the dragon saying like, oh, the woman was right. Because maybe they can start putting it together that that's what's happening, that somebody like sold them out. Um, so now half of our crew is somewhere. I don't know if that was supposed to be the place that Scanlon's hot or not. Um, and the other half is somewhere else. And I don't know where they are. They, like, fell off of the spell. I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what that means. I don't know if they stayed behind. I don't know if they got sent somewhere else. Pike is, like, dying. And Pike is our healer. So that's, like, really bad. And Keyleth is not there either. Great. Just great. Um. God, what an episode. 
man, I thought, I'm like, when you guys told me this was going to be a really big, like, drama season, I'm like, okay, cool. So I got past, like, episodes three and four, and, like, that must be what everyone's talking about. I did not know the entire season was going to be, like, <laughs> like gut-wrenching action and drama and tragedy. Oh, man, you guys, that was a great episode. All right, I need to wrap this up because I need to go find that song on iTunes right now. That was a beautiful song. That was a, just a really, like, I love, I love Scanlan's, like, way of using magic with, like, the music and, like, the, um, just kind of like the, I don't know what you call them, like, the lit up visuals. It's just so pretty and magical. It really is. Um, power of music. Power of music. I mean, I joke, but like power of music very much did work here. Um, and I'm like, I'm like 99% sure I'm right about the mate thing because I feel like why would they drop that hint and then like never follow up on it? Um, so yeah. <sighs> okay, guys, we're in real trouble now. We're halfway through the season, which is insane to me because like I feel like I, I really literally just started the show. And I'm halfway through the season already, so I'm like dying to know what happens. We're all in trouble. We're all, all in peril. Oh, God. All right, you guys. Great episode. Super on edge from it, but it was really well done. It was really beautiful and nerve-wracking all at the same time. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. Please, please do not leave me now. Like I 100% will need help, moral support, all of the above. Please be sure to join me next time. We will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.